Hey, what's happening everybody? Noob here. As you all know, I've introduced Siege to the channel, and since I enjoy it, I'm going to be keeping it. Now, with the Season 3 mid-season reinforcements, I thought it'd be a good idea to start doing operator guides, as some people I come across on Xbox are absolutely useless when it comes to playing with a specific operator. Anyway, let's get the ball rolling. So, for our first operator, we will be taking a look at the GIGN's Rook. He's a great defense operator with no reason to not pick him. He has a very solid loadout and he has a must-have gadget for his team. First, we'll talk about his loadout. Rook can use the P90, MP5 and the SG CQB shotgun, along with a Magnum revolver and a P9 handgun. He can also bring impact grenades and a deployable shield. I recommend using the MP5 as it's just overall a great gun. I use the MP5 with an ACOG sight, a muzzle brake, a grip and no laser sight. The gun has very manageable recoil, especially when compared to that of the P90. It also has 30 bullets in the mag, which is more than enough to drop a few people. Now for the P90. I use an ACOG sight, the muzzle brake and no laser. However, if you can't manage recoil that well, then I'd recommend using a red dot sight or a hollow sight. I sometimes swap between them depending on the sight that I'm defending. I suppose the shotgun is worth mentioning as well. I use a reflex sight, the grip and the laser. The grip is really the only attachment you need, but I don't like the iron sights on the shotgun, so I tend to take a reflex sight as it gives me plenty of visibility if I ever do aim down sight. And the laser improves hip fire accuracy, which is great on a shotgun. Just make sure to keep an eye on where your laser sight is so it doesn't give away your position. When it comes down to the pistols, you have two options. I prefer using the P9 with a muzzle brake as it does a fair amount of damage and has a lot of bullets in the mag to swap to in case I need to reload my primary weapon, but it's also useful for taking out drones in the preparation phase. Now, the Magnum hits a lot harder but has a much more kick to it and the only attachment you can give the Magnum is a laser sight. Lastly, you have Rook's impact grenade and a deployable shield. You should change between these two gadgets depending on your team's tactic or sight that you are defending. And to finish off, Rook is a 3 armor, 1 speed operator. This makes him very tanky for defending objectives at the cost of being slow and noisy. So Rook's special ability is an armor pack that you should place down straight away at the start of a round. These armor plates will reduce a small amount of damage taken by your team if they are shot in the body. The armor will not save you from any headshots. The plates will increase the likelihood in which a player will go down instead of dying in a firefight, or sometimes they'll come out of a firefight, and this pairs really well with Doc, especially now that he's able to heal people with a stim pistol, he'll be able to stretch out that armor use a bit more. Once you drop your armor pack, that is pretty much Rook's job done for the team. He isn't an overly complicated operator to play or use, but he is still a great defender due to his armor and his loadout. Now, since Rook's armor is a passive gadget, that means you are now only a gun to your team, and so you should play up front against the attackers and if you die, it won't be the end of the world for your team. Rook's high armor makes him a great frontline defender, and the MP5 is a great gun for accuracy, damage, and fire rate, meaning you can do some serious damage very quickly. If you use the P90, then the 50 bullet mag will lay down a lot of suppressing fire, making the enemy think twice about pushing. The only downside to Rook's guns are the lack of ammo, so you will need some help making more complicated murder holes from somebody with a shotgun or a lot more ammo than you. Now for the gadgets. Since they are picked in between rounds, always check with your team what to bring if you can. If you're playing by yourself, try to check if anyone is bringing a deployable shield or if there are a lot of impact grenades being brought. If you lack impact grenades, then bring impact grenades. If you have too many impact grenades, bring the shield. Simple, right? Another thing to think about with the impact grenades is if anyone is bringing a shotgun to open up a hole between the objective and any other rooms you'll be defending, since this is what the impact grenades were made for, as well as doing a small bit of damage against shield operators and being a deterrent for them. Also, don't forget, you can use the impact grenades to get a quick flank off on the enemy as well if you know where they are. It'll take them a second to react to a big hole opening up in a wall and might give you time to pick up a kill or two. Also, you can play Rook as a roamer, but I would recommend being a pinpoint defender for your team and be an aggressive defender. Not stupidly overly aggressive, but be the first defender that the enemy will come across. If you are going to roam as a Rook, stay very close to the objective as you don't have the speed to pull off quick flanks when you need to or even to get back to the objective if it needs be. Alright, so that's it for Rook guys. Put down your armor, shoot the bad guys. Pretty straightforward operator, but he is a definite must pick for your team every round. I hope this guide helped you out a bit, and if you found it helpful, I will have more coming uh, your way very soon. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, consider enlisting yourselves in the Nooblets, and hopefully I will see you all in the next video, alright? Toots. Drop it.